What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, this force that we've got currently garrison or oh, um, laying siege to Jerusalem has finally been attacked by the Ottoman Empire. And as you can see, they are heavily depleted. So we shouldn't have too much bother um, throwing them back. So let's defend against our incoming enemy. And that will This could I'm, I'm not entirely sure this could be the end of Jerusalem. Um, the AI usually always attacks you, always, on their final turn of survival, because they may as well. Uh, but they do occasionally attack earlier than that. So the longer settlements, the bigger settlements do last for longer when they're being besieged. So we've only got one gun. <laughs> Deploy in the centre of our line. Deploy five units on one flank. Deploy five units on the other flank. That's a bit far. Deploy four units back doing nothing. We may end up pushing if they've deployed out in our faces. No. So... What's going to happen is their mortars... Oh, they are actually going to walk towards us. So we may still end up having to go slightly offensive. Just attack this section in front of the gate. Because they've got lots of troops in there. They're going to want to try and get out. Well, they're trying to get out anyway. Could shrapnel it. see how well they get on. Although, just start to shrapnel some of the actual units coming out. Camel's always a nice one to take out. But let's speed up time because it looks like all they're going to be doing is forming up anyway. And we've not exactly got a, a rich artillery force. If they try and push us on the left, I can just deploy all my guys into squares, and that'll be the end of that. And I do also have my cuirassier over here, so it's a questionable outcome, especially as they're not going to charge. Okay, little horse artillery gun, work your magic against the the walls of the city. Oh, this unit of Kurdish hillmen, bad idea. Aren't you skirmishers? Shouldn't you be um, engaging us from outside of our effective range? The unit of Sipahi coming in. Canister shot the cavalry if you're within range. Ready to fire. Which you are. Yeah, do not appreciate that fire. And go back to engaging the... Yeah, there we go. That's what they should be doing. So I'm going to go back to round-shotting the wall, because that's a... A viable outcome is going to be... We, we, might, we might have to make a hole in the wall, just so they... Just so they do die. Get you men back behind cover. Looks like their artillery starting to work on us now. Yeah, it is. So we're going to want to... Blast the Janissaries that are coming in. There's another unit of Campbells on the flank. Let's bring my Cuirassier over. Because they are just Camel Gunners at that. Although these horsemen are taking the brunt of our fire. This is 
of their general's bodyguard. You fools. Let's charge the cuirassier out to try hit the camel gunners. to make sure they stay routing. See men fire at will again. Should be to for fire a good volley into the back of those camel gunners. They're shattered. Charge my cuirassier back around into them. See, they are throwing all their stuff into the battle. They are content to hunker down at times. Switch to round shot, keep poking holes in the wall. Looks like through part of their skirmishing problem, they're going to run straight into our line. And if I run away... Yeah, they turn around to try to pursue us. And now we're wavering, because of gunfire. Such stupid... Um, rules. No idea why they decide, oh, I'm gonna just skirmish them. I'm just, they're not even skirmishing, it's just bugged. It's just a bug that they do that, and I don't know why, because I never used to do that. They'll probably come back. Muslim are charging in, Feline are charging in. Counter charge three of our units of infantry in. You guys hit the Mamelukes. Curassier did come back. Continue to make the holes in the wall. Trouble is, my infantry are good at combat now. Teach those camel gunners a lesson. Okay, good. The bombardment mortars are now outside the wall, so let's get our cavalry onto them. You guys hack down a handful more camel gunners to make sure they're shattered. You'll fire it well off. No wonder you're upset. When you get some volleys through here you'll be happy. Charge the Feline in the rear. Where's my last unit of infantry that's not committed? You're going to knock out the bombardment mortars and all these other mortars because it looks like the gates are. S oh, now they're shut. No, they are sturdy. The Mamelukes are probably helping out a lot. All Riskers of Souls will definitely be doing some damage. But we've just got so damn many of them. Let's bring some more infantry units over there, bring some over there. You 
you men deploy into square. There we go, the morale is starting to crack. You men get over here to help your cavalry. They did not like this turn of events. Just stay alive. 31st light horse, just stay alive. Reinforcements are en route. See, if they didn't run around so much, if they actually just fought, our guys would be doing so much better. They, oh, they broke just when my infantry got here. Such a drawn out affair. Yeah, they might do some damage to our guys, but eh. Get our cuirassier around to the rear to charge them. This unit of Mamelukes is still... Oh, see, they're not they're not breaking because they, they keep shifting around. They can't keep... Um, they used to actually, you know, if they were going to fight, they'd fight. Whereas now they've got this kind of weird... Shuffling around logic going on. New men all charge the Mamelukes, get one of these units to secure the gate. Yes, down they go. Oh, look at that, a unit came back. Artillery, bombard the Royal Cairo Infantry Guard. Because fundamentally everyone that's not a cuirassier right now is going to spin around and engage the Royal Cairo Infantry Guard. I'm probably going to speed up time. Because those chats won't last very long. We have to secure the gate. So we can push in and kill the guns. I mean it looks like they are going to come out anyway but... At least now we can we can definitely get in there. So you stream up to the door. At a certain point the gates will realise we want to get in. There we go. And now it's just a case of killing the gun teams which should fall fairly quick. And we don't have to I'm not going to bother trying to attack them while well, trying to finish them off. Um, the army is either dead or it will be dead very soon. Ooh, uh, no. I'd rather like Felix Larocque's force to be replenished. Got plenty of armies on the way to attack. Uh, Sweden we've definitely got a army near Archangelsk to demand the surrender of that territory well demand surrender or just attack it well, Moscow workers on strike exempt them from tax while I recruit some infantry yeah just auto that just a bunch of mortars they don't even have any defences. So we could just run up into them and kill them all. There we go. So you are a... Cavalry unit and a artillery unit, so... 
do a bit of recruiting at Petrovskaya just in case they try and do something frustrating. We've got this chap here who is going to land his troops off of Reykjavik. Yes, we are going to declare war. And we're at war with the Italian states, but that doesn't matter because the Italian states have no strength. Any orders? Orders? I don't th think we could have sailed to there. No. Go on then. Kama uh, kamikaze galley. <laughs> um, then we can get... I mean, these are all so surplus to requirements. Yes, Captain. Like you guys and these Austrian troops here. Just all weak cavalry and infantry. All it's done is, all they did was just run around and raid a few territories. <laughs> Fools. Complete fools. So now we're at war with the Italian states. Let's squeeze. Yes. I mean, you guys just attack this carabiner unit at Syracuse. Don't see why it would have cost us 400 men, but whatever. Cross over into Naples. No, I don't. I meant to click, click next by accident. So let's pick up a light galley here. You men continue to replenish and we also get another light galley. I mean, you guys just, to be honest, that's a nothing garrison. Just take it. So those guys could get up to something near Damascus. So I'm going to run you guys around. Like so. These men, they could get up to something in the region. But it's not really that much of a bother. Obviously we do have the Ottomans here that look like, they act, they're acting like they want to get up to no good, but to be honest they can't really do much. Ready and awaiting orders, sir. So you men get to this crossing. You men bolster the garrison. You men get up onto this bridge. You men get up to here. I mean, I don't, I don't really want to fight them because I just think, yeah, there's so many more, in there's more interesting things to do. Rather than just mopping up a handful of Ottoman troops. Forward, march. Running around the rear of our territory. So just keep it about. Just, just push on. Because we've got armies here ready to move. Ah, we do have to take these guys out. Or we should, at least. Eh, or do we? Do I instead go for Kiev? Because that's the last Swedish territory, which if we take will be huge. You put Klausenberg under siege so I don't forget. You men don't do anything yet. Well I'm not gonna go mad. Let's not let's not go start sorting everything out first. Let's actually go take out Kiev with Bastien Perrault. Yeah, this should be enough. <laughs> the garrison is mostly cavalry. We haven't got much artillery, but we can use our howitzers to knock down walls if we need to. So let's go take Sweden out of the game. The empire that we've been fighting for so many episodes now has been squashed and squeezed into one little pocket and there's nowhere for them to go. Delightful. Absolutely delightful. So we'll fight this battle, then we'll hop back over to the Ottomans to the east, and then we'll, well, in, you know, in the Crimea region, we'll take them out. Then we'll take Transylvania, then we'll keep squeezing in the Balkans. You know, we're just going to have a good time. To be honest, my howitzers might still just quick climb the ever-loving 
bejesus out of them because they're going to have a huge amount of cavalry deployed in the centre. And we've got a lot of cavalry as well. There it goes. It's deployed another section of infantry to push around the flank with their own cavalry support. So quick climbing Howitz is on. Well, Howitz is on quick climb. Yes, drop it in the middle. My my horse artillery keep. Oh, come on, horse artillery, make your way through the center. Oh yes. So much cavalry. Such a terrible idea. It's beautiful. You gotta wonder how many turns are they gonna how many volleys of that are they gonna withstand? Not very many, I think, is the answer to that. Obviously my horse artillery will reload and pull load and fire much faster than my 24 pounders do. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's get two of these howitzers working on helping us break in. We're going to have one howitzer unit just sitting sitting here dropping quick climb on two. Maybe over here. Because that'll be another vector to attack these some of these more intact. Cavalry, 57th Regiment of Foot, Yon Koping Regiment. Eh? Nah, it's not, it's, they've not, it's not far enough. Let's have a look at these guys. They look pretty good. With the yellow belts. And these guys look really good. Novasa Borten Regimente. I like their hats. Definitely cold weather hats. There we go. We are continuing our knocking down of the fort's defences to make it easier for our troops to gain access. Then once we do that, we can start knocking down or taking some of these other units down a peg or two with quicklime. Then we can begin the general advance. So much damage done by quicklime. It's beautiful. That's why I, I really like to try and get it as quickly as possible. It's not as important as um, round sh as um, fire by rank, in my opinion. But again, it's, well, I'd rather have it I'd rather have quick climb and not need it. If I had to prioritise it, I would go for um, I would go for fire by rank over quick climb. Okay, I might actually specifically start to target actual units now rather than. Yeah, you guys just get to work trying to knock down that section of the wall. Quick climb, just start to knock out some of these enemy units they're defending. I mean, this mercenary unit is going to be awfully upset <laughs> by what's heading its way. Again, horse artillery can keep chipping away here because they will keep doing damage to the 56th regiment as well. So that's Another good reason to keep attacking the walls at, point, at times, although you're not actually doing it now. So they're currently 150, 166 men. As the wall takes damage, as do they. As the wall takes damage, so do they is probably a, a better way of phrasing it. These units can try and bait the cavalry on the left. Oh god, that guard, that unit of engineers just got obliterated. It looks like the enemy are about to... They've opened the gates.
pivot my line. Because back here we've got heavy cavalry, a horse guard unit, so another heavy cavalry unit, plus a 12 pounder foot artillery unit. To be honest, you guys might actually just stay by the stay by the gate to deploy square because they're going to charge us. So hopefully we get a bit of time to get a bit closer then deploy into square. You, you, these men deploy into square because obviously that's heavy cavalry. I've got some light cavalry to do some counter charges if, if I need to. Although to be honest they've lost a few men. Get all my artillery switched to round shot, attack the heavy cavalry in the centre. Even though that was a pretty excellent quick line. 57th regiment are down. You men stay square. Stay in square. The heavy cavalry are coming. Throw some more cavalry over. Two infantry units here. They're going to attack this unit of mercenaries. Keep on climbing. We're going to lose a bunch of light cavalry over here against the uh, horse guards. That's why I'm hoping my by keeping an infantry unit in square in the centre will do enough damage. The Lancer Guard units charging out. You men fire it well off. So you got to remember that Swedish infantry do have a bonus to melee infantry, I think, compared to most countries. So let's take this weak unit, climb the wall, this this infantry unit, push up to the gate. So we're trying to push through this gate here into the enemy infantry. It's going to draw some fire here. Okay, these men, well they could push in, but they're not gonna. You men drop into square. You guys attack the gunners. I mean, this unit could well get repelled. That's another section of the wall knocked down. Okay, so these units can have... You can have two units... And these two units can press their advantage on this flank because it looks like they are completely exposed. Let's run the cavalry up to attack the Light Dragoons. Currently trying to stop us from securing the wall there. The Superior Line Infantry Unit has scaled the wall up here in an attempt to stop us and they might actually knock out a unit of... a unit of our infantry. Deploying to square, because another heavy cavalry unit on the way. No, you just went through the wrong entrance. You may attack the Dragoons. Heavy cavalry are wavering, trying to get at us. These men... <laughs> these men are going to abandon their section of the wall. So now all this cavalry is going to swarm in alongside our infantry. So you men get in there and attack the 3rd Regiment. To be honest, our howitzers might 
just cease fire. So you may attack the 3rd Regiment. You guys are holding the 14th off. So understandably, it's the unit that got trapped on the wall up here. Well, the units that got trapped on the wall up here that are upset. Get one of these units to take the gatehouse. Well, to take the command HQ, because they'll start firing in every direction, which is pretty ideal. The 3rd Regiment are routing. Oh, the cavalry are pouring in. So hopefully you guys, once you're ready, will form up once that guy's up and start firing in all directions. So both our infantry units, well, should get you guys to attack these pikemen here. Because lots of these units are attacking the lancers. I'm going to get a cuirassier unit to attack the fifth. You men get out of square. Cuirassier get in here. The heavy cavalry down to four men. So these guys are going to be firing in all directions, which is pretty darn useful to us, because they'll be hitting... Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. You men charge in, secure the guns. You men charge out and hit the other gun unit, get these cuirassier around this side of the building. Oh no, that is a... Okay, I thought that was a unit stuck inside the wall. It's stuck inside the, uh, the tower, that's okay. Sally and hit the guns. Ooh, it's starting to chug. Chug a lug. They really don't like that. I'm not sure what part of it is they didn't like. Well, whatever it is, they whatever it is is dead now. Get a unit on the center to hold it. Foot artillery is routing. Everyone inside this the fort is routing. There we go. Now they've all broken. You men, these men under your watch, you have seen the end of the of the Swedish Empire. That's the word for it. Nice. So that great empire we've been fighting for so many episodes now has been destroyed. And in its place stands a more powerful, a greater, grander empire. So you men replenish. So some of these guys are going to advance south. in order to better respond to how the Ottomans may decide to behave for this battle here. So you men can advance out of the Crimea garrison yet? No. I noticed in Kiev they did hate us. It's because he got a university, so let's get rid of that. But the hope is I can... Take as many of these units that are currently not in engaged in fighting and push down to Moldavia to form a grand army to push on to Istanbul. That would be an ideal outcome, I think. Can you guys leave Minsk? Wait. Oh, okay, I thought one of them was Amber before we, after we left, before we left, but not after. And I thought, God, are they happier that I've gone? You know, they don't hate me when I'm there. They just don't like me, my guys being in the city. They all push down to Moldavia. My spy push on to Bulgaria. Because I am wondering. How are they doing financially? I mean, the territory... Bankruptcy! Because <laughs> Istanbul is 
tax free. Sophia's generating 2,000. Belgrade's generating 3,000. I mean, this empire cannot sustain that number of troops, surely. <laughs> or at least you'd think. I mean, granted, they've got Jerusalem. I might actually bring this chap out of Cairo. Not just anyone, Adrienne Marie Sanse. Push up towards Jerusalem. Should they attempt to drive north and take them out? Let's get rid of the university here as well. Let's pick up some native African infantry just in case things go awry. Obviously, these guys are still just waiting here with the gathering armada. Wallachian Boyar, they look pretty cool. Okay, so. Uh, Johan Mirabeau advance. So we might end up having to fight a grand... Okay, you're going to go here. Just cross into their territory but not within range of being intercepted. Because when I, when I push I would like to take Mr. Mortier cross over, attack Belgrade and draw all of these troops into a large siege, which means I probably want to push you guys. E oh no, you're actually a pretty good army. To be honest, they all are. They're all good armies. But I'd like is some some troops to be deployed here to prevent them from running like that. I want them to go south. Realistically, so I need to, I need to attack Serbia before I push out from Athens. But first of all, let's just mop up these units here. There we go. Large battle against the Ottomans with a whole bunch of Armenian archers. With Gaston Mansart and it's... Uh, I can't remember this chap's name. Dion Danoville, maybe? Um, bring coming up as support. So let's knock out some of these massive Ottoman... These two large Ottoman armies and give our other troops time to advance up to Moldavia. Not that it's critical, because we've got um, Denmark to take, we've got wars in Italy, we've got wars in Naples. I mean, we're probably about three or four episodes, maybe, from the end of our Louisiana campaign. The end is nigh. Not great terrain from, uh, for our guns. So I might actually hunker down slightly rearward. That might be a bit extreme. See one of our expert units of infantry. Deploy them between our guns and the and the raised terrain. Form our line. I might deploy one gun team behind us to fire over our... Actually, I might deploy them both here, to be honest. Get a bit of freedom. We've got howitzers for close fire support anyway. I might deploy them. Deploy them up. Move our line up. make sure we've got our men in good positions. Our Gurkhas are going to push up on the right flank, so that means our Curassier are going to be on the left. General's going to watch. <laughs> Not out there in case it bugs out. So they do have howitzers, so we need to be aware of that. Yep, quick climb, see? Yeah, cavalry charging, understandably. Get our... Be trigger happy when it comes to deploying units into square, because you'd sooner do it 
and think I didn't need to, rather than wishing you had. New men charge the Mamelukes. Yeah, you're going to be okay there. So our howitzers... Uh, not those guys. Okay, you guys attack the Janissaries. You guys hit this big block of garrison. This big block of um, Janissaries there. Good. Let's take up take our line in advance. Our riflemen are advancing. You men, those two units, that unit run. These two units walk into position. Let's get our gunners to uh, uh, ignore their previous targets and instead focus on the men that are in the line. Okay, you guys go after this unit of Armenian archers. I'd very much like to knock out these Mamelukes because we've actually got an advantage here on the left flank, although it looks like we do still have... Okay, a wide, wide retreat. So you men take out the riflemen. Okay, a big block of cavalry and hidden troops to the rear there. So you men make ready to fire to engage the Mamelukes here. You guys have hit the riflemen. These troops pivot up on the flank. Okay, good. So these units can push up on the flank here. Our Gurkhas can advance. The light cavalry run away. Okay, don't push on to the riflemen. My howitzers switched to round shot. I mean, these howitzers haven't really engaged. These men push, well, sans Gurkhas, push to engage the Armenians with the Gurkhas on the flank. These two units pivot. Let's fire into the flank of these riflemen and grenadiers. Gunning down those riflemen there fairly, fairly well. They don't seem to care. They're still just steady. Gurkhas can run up the flank. Gunners engage the Janissary guards there because they're still fairly secure. Okay, you meant pivot. And then we need to swing. Okay, you guys push up to advance on them. These guys push up like so here I'd very much like to take the flank take the hill I should say focus our howitzers on the centre of the hill Ah, oh, Natch, you guys got hit by Quicklime. Not Quicklime, you ran into a... Oh god, they're going to kill even more of them. The Royal Infantry Guards are now pushing, which isn't great. Okay, 
You may knock out those hillmen, that would be super handy. Okay, the enemy are coming in from right at the back. So let's uh, take our gunners. Push them up to secure the hill. So you charge the jet the royal the guards in the rear as well. You men push up. To be honest, actually, you guys are okay. Sekban Janissaries, Cavalrymen. So the new general is arriving. To help take command of the situation. spread the generals out a bit because they're coming in yeah from back there so I do want my cavalry to advance you men should hopefully knock out the Royal Janissary Infantry Guard I mean Gurkhas versus Archers should be a fairly predictable outcome there they go. Good stuff. So now you men march up to higher ground. See, they say the Janus Infantry Guards are winning on the left flank, but I can't see how that's true. These Armenian archers are getting over here, ready to try to help them out. So my general's bodyguard's going to have a go at them. My field artillery back here is not in a great spot to do stuff. So you are going to limber up. Thankfully, at least, lots of these units here are quite weak. Okay, so you're in a so you're in your firing position so unlimber and open up let's advance my lineup Okay, so this, well, yeah, you're, you're now firing, so you can engage the Mameluk Guard. This unit back here is okay. I how so I feel the artillery up here can push up there. You men push to support my general's bodyguard. Maybe I should have got my artillery to focus on these archers, because they are standing their ground in the center very effectively. Hopefully not as effectively now we've got more infantry up. There we go. So now our... Well, everyone... Form line. This other gunner, Unlimber, potentially with quick climb to see how you do. Okay, this gun team's thrown back the Royal Mameluk Guards. So they're going to aim at the horsemen. This unit that's dropping quick climb can engage the archers. So let's ratchet our line forward. Kurdish hillmen, so they're going to need another little advance. I 
Where's my light cavalry? Push up on the right flank. Continue to ratchet. So our gunners, yeah, they're making their way up. My other howitzer might switch to... Well, no, there's a reasonable number of units in quick fire, quick climb range now. So let's hopefully clear out these archers on the left flank fairly well. Another unit of archers hopefully going to be pushed back, and it is. It's quick climb coming in. See, it would be better with my gunners in a better position, because they could start to try and do some counter battery work, and we do have an awful lot of enemy crud coming in. So those hillmen have fallen back. Newman advance. Push everyone up into a useful... Or to a position where they've got the right amount of depth. Get the cavalry to charge the archers. Back them up with my Gurkhas. So now my howitzers, they're still okay for quick climb. You hit the second order, you guys hit these archers up front. My gunners and limber, they can focus on the camels and whatnot to the rear. Gunners, camel nomads, focus on the nomads because they're actual infantry. The second order should hopefully fall fairly quick. Gurkhas charge a unit of Delhi horsemen, Alzimandari horsemen. Watch out for the Mine. You men push into the flank of that block of cavalry there as well. Okay, we've got a enemy cavalry push. Just go straight up into those defences. Just take him on. You men are going to go back to your old job of trying to help protect that general on the left. Where's the boom? Or is it only certain types of boom? I don't know. Get a howitzers to lay a carpet of quick climb ahead of our formation. To be honest, a good number of our troops are going to start running out of ammunition any moment now. But right here, I'm hoping my Gurkhas can really do a number on the enemy. I mean, it's we should really have start. I should really have been um, falling men back and bringing them up as supports earlier than now. So you, these guns engage Delhi horsemen, you guys engage camel gunners. P 
pull those sepoys back. You men charge the horsemen. There we go, that's more enemy troops. Get all of our guns to hit the archers on the left. Our general fell on the left flank, Gaston Mansart, a veteran of many campaigns. More units are routing. Form a position like so. So the guns are now focusing on. Should maybe be doing some counter battery work. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Our Gurkhas are finally broken. This regiment of foot is. Going to deploy into square. There they've been drawn into the combat. There you go. So this first unit is starting to run out of steam. Okay, so both these units get out of here. You men all fall back. Howitzers engage the camel gunners. Deadly horsemen are going to want to chase down our routing units, that's fine by me. This is not the end of our empire, but it is very much the end of theirs. These men get over here and charge the janissaries in the flank. So our guns up on the flank here can shrapnel shot the Delhi horsemen. Again, that's a unit of archers that's chasing down our troops that are routing, rather than doing anything actually useful. So we smacked a bunch of infantry into the flank of this combat over here. Let's get our general that's routed into, to be honest, let's get him to route. This almighty combat over here is going okay-ish. So all my artillery switched around, shot, engage the enemy demi cannons because they've done a very good job. I mean, I like the enemy's chances here, to be honest. They've thrown in another fairly full unit of Janissaries, and I've just thrown in another unit of... Uh, two units of... two damaged units of Sipoys. We can see the guns coming in now, and it's like, yeah, I'm not interested in guns. Back you go. has run away. So this is quite a... Ooh, that's actually not a bad spot for you guys. Reload and pour fire into the back of that combat right there. Marines, that's what we want to see. Might take them a while to get here though. This could backfire though, but let's, let's try it. <laughs> I mean, it's not going so well for them. There we go. You men attack the archers. 
all of our hearts actually attack the archers as well, because they are potentially in a good spot to stop us. Let's get my general back. Everyone here except my general, former line. My light cavalry, get out of here. This howitzer unit actually can quick line that unit of archers. The other artillery, the other unit can focus on that unit of pikemen. I'd really like a cavalry unit to come in, but it looks like it's just more infantry. Quick climb's gone in. There we go. They're broken. These gunners focus on their gunners to the rear. My guys switch to howitzers and engage the camel gunners. You men push up onto this hill to open fire onto the camel gunners as well. Get my artillery to hit the camel nomads. Get these East India Company infantry up here and get these sepoys up here. Are you guys going to charge us? Form square. So my general is going to go for the the guns. My hit squad are going to get in here and attack the camel nomads. Howitzers cease fire. You guys all get in there and attack the camel nomads. I saw a shrapnel shot go off. Hit the camel nomads. All the guns are wavering, the camels have routed. And the guns also have routed. Oh no, they're wavering now. Presumably they will not come back. No, there we go. That was quite a nice epic confrontation there. That's what Empire is all about. Yeah, so we lost a whole bunch of men, plus our general, but the army is intact. They've been dispatched. So let's pick. Oh, let's pick a Gurkha. Leon de Secondar. Gurkha General. Gurkha, Gurkha Officer. He's a soldier from birth. He's a little sergeant and he's a happy drinker. Good on him. So Dion Darnoville, you are it's only him that's upset. He's gonna push up. To keep the uh position reinforced. I don't want either of those armies catching an army of mine isolated. There we go. Let's fix this. Arcane just is being fixed. We're getting metal roads. Oh, this has been taken. All oh, these guys are on the march. Let's upgrade the farmland. And let's take this guy, Mr. Suffren, Georges-Louis Suffren, and attack the city of Klausenberg and take it from the Ottomans. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Transylvania. Because we're going to take Transylvania, then we're going to probe forward with Mr. Mortier towards Belgrade and draw a whole bunch of these armies into the fight. That would be my objective. So I'm going to move these guys east. I'm pretty sure that means when these guys attack, I'll still have the reinforcement of at least one of these two armies. But yeah, I digress. That's going to be the next move. Fight around Belgrade. Then it's going to be fighting... Well, I might hit end turn to see if they come at me from Italy. But either way, where we're going to start the next episode is attacking Klausenberg by Mr. Suffren. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.